everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of Tarani Friday. Today we're going to take fruit tea to a whole new level. We're going to make a delicious grapefruit, ruby red grapefruit, fruit tea enhanced by Tarani ruby red grapefruit syrup. If you've not tried this grapefruit syrup, you are in for a huge treat. Um, I just got it because it was one that I didn't have in my collection and I opened it up when we always open up the new bottles to try them and oh my gosh, mm. I think Rick loves the Tarani grapefruit syrup more than he loves me. I do. <laughs> so let's go see how we make this delicious ruby red grapefruit fruit tea. All right, we're gonna go over all the ingredients and then we're gonna make this really delicious ruby red grapefruit iced tea. You're gonna love this, it's so refreshing. And fruit teas are really popular right now and being able to make them at home makes them a lot more uh, reasonable as far as expense goes. Sometimes you can go out for a fruit tea and it can cost you a small fortune, um, depending on where you get it. Plus when you make it at home, you know exactly what goes in there. And today we're gonna to make a ruby red grapefruit fruit tea and it's going to have ruby red grapefruit tarani in it simply grapefruit grapefruit juice which is all natural unsweetened and um, we're just going to use some home brewed super strong iced tea and i'll tell you how i did that and really all we're going to do is mix this up what i have here is a two quart jar and what i have in there is about three cups of ice i'd say two cups of ice in there so all we're going to do is we're going to start pouring stuff in there. Our grapefruit juice. Our Tarani. Of course, you can adjust this to your own taste. I'm using two shots of Tarani today. And I'm going to use, this is super strong iced tea. We brew tea in our house every day. We go through about at least a gallon. We make it in the microwave in a four cup measuring cup and we fill it up with filtered water. We throw two family size tea bags, sometimes three in there, and we just let it go for five, five, five because it's easy to set the microwave for five, five, five. And then we take it out when it's done. We put a bonnet on it and we let it cool. Usually when we make a pot, uh, a, a pitcher of tea, we make a fresh measuring cup of tea so that the next time we run out, we have cool tea ready to go. We just have to fill it, pour this in a gallon pitcher with uh, and fill it up with water and then we have perfectly brewed iced tea. So what I'm going to do is I have what we have what we essentially is iced tea concentrate and I'm going to top it off like that and we're trying not to make a mess. Then you're just gonna actually I'm gonna use my I have a really tall bar spoon here and just give this a good stir. You can give it a shake. Now I have put ice in my jar because my iced tea concentrate was still warm. So you can either wait for it to cool off and mix it up without the ice or you can do what I do and mix this up with the ice. And give it a taste. It's pretty good. And then we pour. We're going to try and do this without spilling. And all you need now is a straw and you've got a beautiful and refreshing glass of ruby red grapefruit iced tea or grapefruit fruit tea. That's kind of uh, not easy coming off at the tongue there. So, do you want to try this? Sure. Rick loves grapefruit. Oh, that is really good. Oh, that is it's really like good. Drinking a grapefruit. It really is. Mmm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Um, Rick not only likes grapefruit, but he really is kind of addicted to this grapefruit this syrup. This is amazing. Tell him how you like to enjoy it, honey. And this, this tastes like you're drinking a sugared piece of grapefruit. That's how good it is. It Seriously, really is amazing. honey, you have no shame. Tell them how you like to enjoy it. Well, three glugs inside my mouth is <laughs> how I do it. <laughs> now the whole world knows your shame. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no shame is that good. <laughs> 
That is how you make ruby red grapefruit fruit tea using Tirani ruby red grapefruit syrup. Of course, like I said, you can adjust this more or less. This is not overly sweet. In fact, if it were up to me, I would pour more syrup in that glass. Mm -hmm. That's just my personal preference. If you don't like it sweet like that, then don't. I personally am not a fan of sweet iced tea. Like southern sweet tea, I can't stand it. I drink my iced tea straight, plain. Uh, like my coffee is black and that's how I like it. But this is is really delicious. It's refreshing. It has a little hint of sweetness and that juice mixed in there enhanced by that ruby red grapefruit syrup. It's a real winner. I'd like to say thank you for joining me today for Tarani Friday so you could see how I made this grapefruit iced tea. And if you like the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. If you're subscribed to my channel, you won't ever miss out on any of the videos that I put up. You can even sign up in, this, in the subscriptions tab to have an email sent to you every time I upload a new video. So I hope you give this ruby red grapefruit fruit tea a try. I hope that you try it. I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. I have a half a cup of chopped white onion. And I have one a half of a very large jalapeno. It's about two tablespoons and about four Good. You, of course, can leave out 